Well, everybody, and welcome along to the Foxworth Autosport Fantasy League. It's time for round number seven, round Interlagos in Brazil. We have just four races to go to find our champion then, as we have our fourth different drivers championship leader of the season. We had our sixth winner out of six last time out in the form of eight. And uh, yeah, we're here for round number seven to see if we can find a seventh different winner. Joining me, as always, is Mr. Foxworth himself. How are you today? Uh, we'll find out, but doing pretty well personally. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware there's an F2 race going on in the background where there's been a, a, a fairly massive crash, so hopefully all involved are okay. Um, but we uh, must get on with the show, unfortunately. Um, to see how they get on. Oh, there's a mighty squabble here, even in qualifying. Look at this little pack <laughs> that's coming down the uh, start of finish straight as uh, oh, Han Solo and Saf Safso pull off into the pits then. So early runner at the moment uh, is James, uh, no, Lando Calrissian, trying to carry on the incredible form of the Falcon Racing team after uh, a double podium last time out at Long Beach. And... Uh, one that has catapulted them to the top of both championships. Han Solo leads the drivers with Lando Carrizin in fourth and they are a fair few points clear at the top. So yeah, what do you expect from uh, from Interlagos? Obviously it's a track that we saw in the test races much like Long Beach so it's one we know. We know a lot from F1. Um, how do you expect our runners and riders to go around here today Fox? Well, there's no Jensen Button this time around, so hopefully everyone makes it through turn one and we get some exciting races, lots of overtaking, and yeah, hopefully there's some pit strategy and it should be a fun time. It's a great track. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I think the, um, the race itself might be uh, fairly similar to Brands Hatch and Imola, but the turn one here is the most uh, aggressive we've seen. Uh, in any of the races we've run so far when we did the test race around here and we're now of course doubling the number of cars to 44 so I expect a lot of turn one drama um, but then maybe the race might be might be a little bit more sedate after that but it wasn't exactly last time out in uh, <laughs> in Long Beach was it so and the test race there was very sedate so probably a lot of action as Jeff Goldblum puts himself to the top of the times and these guys are setting their fastest times on the in lap. <laughs> no, no, there's no way. Yeah, no. Jeff Goldblum's last time was his in lap. I guess they are about two seconds off of the quickest time, so maybe they're just not fueling enough. <laughs> like putting like literally one lap in and they have to pull it in. Well, this would Very be a turn off the books, wouldn't it? I mean, let's have a, <laughs> let's have a ride on board with someone that's on a lap then, um, who's eight. He's currently 1.6 seconds up on his time, uh, which would put him a long way clear. But I'm interested to see if he pulls into the pits here <laughs> and sets a time in the meantime. Current time is a 130.0, 11th on the uh, standings at the moment. And does he pull into the pits and does he improve? He is coming into the pits. <laughs> what? And did you like it give does him like... improve to one twenty nine four? What? Um, I guess... I racing? Hello? Did you give him like a one percent fuel tank? <laughs> we're we're back down to thirty five percent here, but that that should be a lot more. Th Fernando Alonso goes fastest. There we go. Good distance then. A twenty seven eight. Right, we're saved. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> but everyone else just doesn't set a time. My goodness, what the heck? Well, we do only have 1 minute 30 left in the session, worryingly. Um, I don't know what we can do here, apart from just let it... I mean, it's part of, it's part of the narrative, right? I guess, at this point. <laughs> we can't really do much about it. We could make the qualifying session longer and start again, but... Um, we'll see, I mean, 1 minute 5 with these guys coming out of the pits, they're not going to be able to set a time. As uh, Johnny Schumacher improves, but only to 1 minute 30.1. Um, 
Yeah, I'm a bit on. I'm a, a bit unsure here. What, what do you think we should do, Fox? What? In terms of this qualifying session. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a qualifying session. It's just. But these it's fair. second and third at the moment have set their times on an in-lap. I mean, it all's fair. It counts, Okay, apparently. okay, okay. Unless, what, I mean, did you completely muck up the... Uh, no, it's the same settings as always. <laughs> I think Fernando Alonso should improve again here. Uh, yeah, that's... He doesn't. Only a 20... Stays on the 127.8, then. All is fair. Well, the, the only person I can see that's set a representative time at the moment is Fernando Alonso, and he's nearly two seconds clear, or 1.3 seconds clear of the field. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the clock has now know. reached zero, so <laughs> it's only people uh, that are still on a lap. Johnny Schumacher's improving it, as he takes a lot of exit curve there, onto the main straight. So we should I see am... a big improvement from Johnny Schumacher here. I'm watching a uh, like a slideshow right now of like three frames a second. Oh, are you? Yeah, actually, probably not. Probably like one frame every five seconds. <laughs> so. Ah. Okay. Well, I'll see if we can sort that out. Johnny Schumacher improves into the pit lane <laughs> from one twenty nine point nine. So time to run down the order. We got Fernando Alonso on pole here. Uh, he's had some bad championship finales here, so we'll see if he... Uh, I guess he didn't really have terrible championship finales here, but he's lost a couple championships here, so we'll see if he can have some you know, good championship correcting uh, race here today and hopefully get back up into the top 10. And then we got Jeff Goldblum. I just realized Jeff Goldblum's in, on the front row. Uh, a little bit shocked. Then we got eight, our winner last time out, up in third. We got Lucius Augustus, pole sitter. He's yet to convert a pole. Uh, we'll see if he does well today. We got Aaron Senna, Gerhard Berger, Lando Calrissian, a new entrant into the top five. And then we got Richard Attenborough and David Attenborough. Great recovery for Life Finds Away GP. Then we got Johnny Schumacher, Jesse Pinkman, Bertrand Zanardi, Matt Neal, Garambe, James Bowles, Gilles Villeneuve, Hudson Hornet, Walter White, Bluminati, Cecil, Paul Disaster, Saf Safso, Peter Bonington, Karen Horner, Jack Villeneuve, James Ensby, Jackson Storm, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Susie Wolf, Mine Polecat, Susie Masato, Liam Bridesmaid, Ted Kravitz, George Truly, John Major, Michael Verstappen, Martin Brundle, Heinz Harold Hill, Pierre LaCroix, Han Solo, championship leaders really not having a fun time. We got Yarno Russell, Jake Dennis, Natalie Peekham, and Flavio Briatore. So big shakeup already. Championship leader is way in the back. Yeah, absolutely. And um, this championship sets continu sets to continue to swing <laughs> with Han Solo back there in P40. Um, yeah, Fernando Alonso with the shot pole position. I mean, that's a, a front row that could cause all kinds of chaos based on their performances so far this season, isn't it? <laughs> Jeff Goldblum and Fernando Alonso. Yeah, absolutely. Fernando Alonso is all the way... I don't even see where he is on our standings. Where is he? He's that far oh, down. 30th, 30th, 30th. <laughs> yeah, he's 30th and uh, Jeff Goldblum's 42nd. Uh, but crucially, 8 is P3 in the championship. So, if you can get off the line well here, get the right strategy and stay out of trouble, he's got to be the favourite to take the championship lead out of this, but we've got uh, 22 laps of Interlogos to go before we find that out. Absolutely. So I'm expecting most of the chaos to come in turn 1 here, but again, we're rerunning this track with double the number of cars we did for the test race, so really anything could happen as you see how far back that that grid goes uh, Fabio Briatore basically on pit entry there <laughs> so yeah it's gonna... let's hope he doesn't pull in the pits like qualifying well it's apparently the quickest way. On, if you did it on the last lap you might win <laughs> um, yeah we're not quite sure what happened that qualifying but we're going with it Right, we're getting ready to get underway for round number seven here then at Interlagos. It'll be Fernando Alonso that leads us away then. Good start. Fairly equal between the top two. Uh, eight, eight making a move one round. around the outside of Jeff Goldblum. Gail Berger looking to get interested in the background uh, with Ayrton Senna. And will everybody get through cleanly here at Interlagos? We know how treacherous this turn one is. 
And I think they're all through then for the first time. It's Fernando Alonso that is still leading us away then, going on the defensive super early from eight. And it's Jeff Goldblum trying to make back up that second place. Eight into the breaking zone, stays ahead then. Good start from eight up into P2. Absolutely. He's got one hand on that championship trophy. He's trying to uh, pull away from the field now. Yep, and there's a lot of two-by-twos in the background. Uh, we've got Rich Schattenberger and uh, Gerhard Berger going side-by-side. Side. We've got Lando Carizian and uh, I think that's Johnny Schumacher going wheel-to-wheel. -wheel. Matt Neal and Paluma Nati, Jules Villeneuve and Harambe. A lot of jostling positions. Where's our championship leader then, Han Solo? Looks like he's had a great start. He's up to P36 then. So he's made up four positions off the grid, and that's just what he needs. Uh, considering eight has now taken the lead from Fernando Alonso. So he set oh, him up goodness. onto the inside round that sweeping left hander. And keeps Are we going to get the first line. double? Where's Lucius Augustus come from? <laughs> it's up to P3. Uh, he was fourth, was he? Yeah, he was fourth. He's made his way past Jeff Goldblum in a couple of corners. And Jeff Goldblum is falling down the field, looks like. And Fernando Alonso is taking the lead back then in turn one. I don't need to stay live on this. They're swapping all over the place. Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, we've got Bertrand Zani and David Asperger going wheel to wheel into turn one. Uh, Saf Saf so Walter White. These guys are really able to race here, it would seem. Yeah, absolutely, and they're keeping it clean so far, but we'll see if there's any dramatic incidents. Yep, Fernando Alonso once again going super defensive on eight. The slipstream obviously super powerful. They're very worried about it. Um, this Augustus in tow. Jeff Goldblum unfortunately falling a little way back and he's going to fall into the clutches of the likes of Rich Schamber, Ed Senna, Gail Berger, Johnny Schumacher and uh, Lando Carizian still on the back end of that top ten then. As uh, Johnny Schumacher and Gail Berger going wheel to wheel. Schumacher will have the inside for the next corner. And as long as he can cut back across should hold that position into the next as Richard Asper is now having a move on Jeff Goldblum, he's going to try and go around the outside, not going to work there unless he can get the inside for the sweeping left, but he stays behind for now. Further back in the order then, Karen Horner uh, making, I mean Samuel Jackson's reading about four places different from Karen Horner on the lap before, so I don't know what's happened this lap. But, uh, yeah, I think Samuel Jackson, did he pass a bunch of cars? Yeah, it looks like it. He may well charge. He's absolutely flying at the moment, is Samuel Jackson. Uh, I think he'll come across the line in P26, so he's up two. And we've got Harambe and Pulu going wheel to wheel into turn one. Nearly contact there between the gentleman racer's car and the means to the moon driver. And uh, that's Matt Neal getting interested in the background. They recovered a little bit of ground BBW last time out, so they'll be hoping for. Uh, a strong result this time. You've got David Asper and Zanardi going wheel to wheel. That's David Asper uh, staying ahead of Bertrand Zanardi. And then we've got a mighty scrap up here then. This is uh, Johnny Schumacher, Richard Asper, Gerhard Berger and Lando Calrissian. And Senna defending from Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, it looks like Jeff Goldblum's just struggling for pace right now. He's been falling backwards down the field since the start of this race. Yeah, he is, and Ed Senna Barges him out the way. Johnny Schumacher locks up, trying to get down the inside as well. Jeff Goldblum will have the inside line for the next corner then, and will stay ahead. Uh, Mike Brundle and Michael Verstappen further back in the field. That's John Major and uh, Yano Russell, no, George Trulli, ahead, going wheel to wheel as well. My goodness, Fox, they're, they're racing all over the place here. <laughs> Yeah, there's plenty of racing action. Looks like Fernando Alonso is still up in the lead. Eight is down in second, and Lucius Augustus in third. Are they pulling? Yeah, they're pulling away from the rest of the field. The top three. Uh, Aaron Senna is the next up. Uh, home race for Aaron Senna. So we'll see if he can get a win here and kind of get his championship hopes back alive as he's kind of fallen back down the order since his win. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, got his way past Jeff Goldblum then. And yeah, these guys having such an intense fight here that, yeah, you're right, that's allowed this top three to break away of Fernando Alonso 8 and Lucius Augustus. 8 won't mind that all too much. Um, 
any of the top three positions today, considering the two guys around him aren't ready for championship position, but eight's going to try and go around the outside uh, and then switches back for the inside on Fernando Alonso and retakes the lead then. Nuss Augustus also trying to have a look at Fernando Alonso. These three won't want to fight too hard because uh, they've got a nice little gap here at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. It's looking like a great day for eight so far. We'll see if his strategy pans out. I know his teammate Jake Dennis has had some issues with strategy, so hopefully someone else is calling his strategy today. Um, he'd had a dominating win last time out in Long Beach, so it'd be our first double winner if he could uh, pull this off. We'll have to see. Back to back race Thought wins. He... That would be something, wouldn't it? But they're going to swap Thought again. He was about to go <laughs> into the pit. Fernando Alonso makes his way back past then. It's that. Yeah. Slipstream super powerful down that main straight. Um, Absolutely. Using a uh, slingshot tactic here to pull away from the field, it looks like. So, crucially, nobody has uh, had an incident so far. But the one thing that is happening, because of the amount of fighting that's going on here, um, the field spread is actually quite large. Um, so, from front to back, it's 20 seconds already. Uh, when we're only on lap 5. If that kind of rate continues, we could, for I think maybe the first race of the season, see the front of the field catch the back as Hate goes around the outside again. Let's do going wheel to wheel. And this Augustus just watchful in the background as uh, I think Johnny Schumacher has made his way past Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum plummeting down the order today so far. So, uh, Ed Senna, now he has cleared that train, has started to show some pace. So, I don't know if Jeff Goldblum picked up any uh, damage early on, but he's just doesn't seem to have the pace to stay with these front guys. And uh, we'll see this time round. Now he's in clean air. What kind of times Ed Senna's putting in compared to those top three? If I was on the right screen, which I'm not. Last lap times. There we go. 27-0 from Metten Center last time round. So that yeah, home knowledge. Like he is. Yeah, he's he's pulling or yeah, he's coming back into the uh, picture here. Um, we'll see if he can close that gap. Three tenths is a uh, not not nothing to shake a stick at. I don't know if that's a phrase over there. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I knew what you meant by it. That checks out. Um, yeah, well, those front three are. Uh, Swapping positions almost every other lap, or well, the front two are. Lucius Augustus, I think, just wants to stay out of trouble for once, running at the front. <laughs> As eight's going to go around the outside now, once again. Exactly the same move Fernando Alonso pulled on him last time around. And uh, Lucius Augustus maybe not going to just stay there. He's going to try and fight it around the outside, is he? Got Jeff Goldblum and Johnny Schumacher. <laughs> I mean, fair play to Jeff Goldblum. He's defending well, but he just doesn't seem to have the pace in that car at the moment. As, uh, Johnny Schumacher stays ahead. Is this paint like heavier or something? Like he just never seems to have the pace. I don't know. Do these AI have like feelings or like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just down about life. And uh... <laughs> I really feel like some of these AIs have personalities. Like, just there's, it's a hundred percent random, but it's also there's like there's certain things that keep happening with certain AIs. It's very interesting. Uh, I wonder if there's some sort of like, I don't know. It's such an interesting series that we've made. <laughs> well, we had a chat about this the other day, right? Um, I think it's when if if you put a sort of randomness into anything, um, but has the theme that allows a narrative to be created, then there will always you run a simulation twenty times. There will be a theme between them just because of how randomness and cause and effect happens, right? That's probably the least eloquent way I could put that, but <laughs> it's um it's Fernando Alonso once again taking eight back the next time round. All yeah, of this it looks like Go on. Yeah, Aaron Senna's he's coming right back here. He's gained a second over that last lap it looks like. Or a half second and now he's gained another half second. Well he's banging on in the one twenty seven zeros. That's two laps in a row now and the front three because they're fighting so much are losing more and more time each time round, as uh, Eight's apparently got back past. And now Lucio Augustus might have a go on Fernando Alonso. 
Yeah, Aaron Senna wants them all to stay together here. Uh, give them the best chance to catch up to the top three before anything happens. And it looks yeah. like Fernando, that slipstream is insane. How brave is he on the brakes? Not brave enough. But he's right on the tail of eight. And Ayrton Senna, another, what, seven tenths, it looks like, he's cut out of there? Yeah, absolutely. Another seven tenths out of the front three. And he'll be there in another lap or two if they keep squabbling the way they have. We got a, we got big chances of a double winner in this race. We got Aaron Senna and eight in the top four. Absolutely. David Asper going on the defensive from Matt Neal, and that's Pulu trying to make his way around the outside. I must say, the last few races, the driving standards have gone up immeasurably um, in terms of the wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. Obviously, we saw a few drivers get caught out by the curb of death in, uh, in Long Beach, but generally the wheel-to-wheel -wheel stuff was very good. And uh, it seems like it is again today. So we've got Pulu Gale Berger and wheel to wheel. Jeff Goldblum continues falling through the field. Uh, as you know, he's still holding on. He's not lost another position just yet. But they're uh, lining up <laughs> and almost tripping over each other in an attempt to find their way through. So, eight has found a little gap now, but you would expect uh, Fernando Alonso to get back in that slipstream, and Ayrton Senna's pretty much there now. He is with those Absolutely. top four. And, uh, yeah, you're right. It's, uh, what is it, a 50 50 chance out of that top four of having a repeat winner? Exactly. Yeah, it would be amazing. And you'd expect that person to go on to win the championship, but we'll have to see how it goes. It's hard to overcome two race wins in this championship, but, you know, you get to finish last place the next race, so who knows? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a big amount of points, but not necessarily the be all and end all if you finish last in every other race but we'll wait and see Johnny Schumacher as well might be joining them because uh, 26 8 last time round even quicker than Ayrton Senna and uh, it looks like he might be on the back of this train uh, in no time as well so Fernando Alonso once again tries to sweep to the outside of 8 Lucius Augustus is getting interested on the inside can he brave it around he can found some traction around the outside and up the inside for the next corner, and Lucius Augustus is move. now up to second. Very brave stuff. Apparently, pole sitting is not his his uh, strong suit, but if he starts in the top four, he can make some moves. Maybe he's been practicing some like Buddhist Zen or something. Um, just you know, humming. It's not my, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Over and over again in the corner. <laughs> A bit more focus this time, because he's had the worst luck. Let's be honest. He's had great pace in so many races. He's had two pole positions. And every time something happens, as Fernando Alonso is going to be looking to the outside now to take back that second place. Lucio Augustus doesn't fight it too much. I think these guys can see that everybody else is catching them now. And uh, they don't want to be fighting too much. As uh, Jeff Goldblum's pace seems to have stabilised as well. 27-2 last time around, so he's catching them as well. And uh, that's James Ensby and Peter Bonington going wheel to wheel. And uh, we're still nose to tail, folks. Still no incidents. Still no incidents, but a lot more exciting than the Imola race so far. A lot of overtaking, a lot of slipstreaming. So this has been fantastic racing so far. This is kind of the, the dream scenario that you want for uh, any kind of league. Obviously, in a virtual league, you do love crashes. But it's um, but obviously, the drivers are all safe if someone crashes in this sort of league. Except for maybe Jensen Button, who clearly had a concussion. <clears throat> <laughs> and Martin Brundle, for that matter, as well. Yes, he, uh, hopefully we'll see him back to League one day, but, uh, yeah, I think Jensen Button has uh, decided to spend some more time with his family after that lucky escape from that <laughs> Interlagos <laughs> test race. So where's our championship leader, then? So Han Solo is making good progress. He's up seven. Um, but yeah, still going to do better than that, yeah. A lot more points than that, yeah. And Heinz uh, Harold Hill, is that right ahead of him? Yep. Yeah, he's made that move. So good for him to get ahead, but both of them will be wanting a few more points than that. Uh, we've got Harambe and Matt Neal swapping places into turn one. And uh, it's a slow return to form for Matt Neal. He's, uh, <laughs> he had a few disastrous races. He scored some fairly decent points last time out. 
Still not right up where he needs to be at the sharp end, but uh, this would be some more welcome points for them, uh, for him and uh, BBW. Yeah, absolutely. They were definitely championship favorites coming in to the season. Had a lot of consistency. I, I really thought that it was going to be a Colin McRae scenario, but yeah, it's completely been turned on its head in these last couple races here. Yeah, absolutely. And the new dominant force is eight. Uh, with these three now tripping over each other, now Ayrton Senna has joined the uh, fray. Eight is uh, now two seconds out. 126.8 last time round, which is the fastest lap of the race. So he's starting to stretch his legs now he's got out of that slipstream. And uh, it's going to need these guys to work together if they're going to reel him back in there. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> Doesn't look like anyone's going for the pits right now. So we're, we're coming over halfway here for the uh, the race, so it looks like it's going to be a one-stop again. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's looking for the pits right now. No, Especially I was hoping the slight adjustment again might drag us a bit more back into the one or maybe two-stop strategy. But uh, yeah, it looks like they're all going to be okay for the one-stop. Um, they want to go a couple more laps to, make, to be absolutely sure, but uh, yeah, it looks okay. As Fernando Alonso once again looking to the outside of Lucio Augustus, this is not really what you want to do, guys. You're letting eight run away with it out the front there. But uh, it's yeah. great action for us. Really finding, finding some form here for eight in the second half of the season here. Just, uh, yeah. Maybe he isn't Julian Palmer. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, was he any good in F3s, or did he just do the F2 championship and that was it? Uh, you got to presume he was okay in the lower formulas to allow him to get there. Um, I guess so, yeah. Anybody that can drive an F1 car and score some points, if only eight. Um, he, he got nine in his career. I think he got a bit more in the end, yeah. Um, it's still got to be a decent driver, he just wasn't really cut out for the sharp end of F1. Nope. Okay, who have we got for movers and shakers then? So, the, the, of the top uh, ten. Johnny Schumacher's up the most, Jeff Goldblum down the most, as we got uh, eight into the pits then. Let's discuss this Johnny Schumacher, so it's going to be Fernando Alonso and Aaron Senna carrying on, so we're going to be seeing them probably take the lead here. Disaster for eight. Looks like he has the same uh, strategy caller as Jake Dennis does. So we'll see if it works out though. But the overcut is definitely more powerful in this series as it's time and time again. Yep. It's, I don't know what we expected from... Uh, Perhaps an automotive, but we know how it's been going for his teammate all this time. Um, so, yeah, once again, I think a strategy is going to ruin that. But uh, that leaves the in interesting question then. I mean, Jeff Goldblum stayed out, along with Richard Atterberg, Gail Berger, Lando Calrissian, and Jesse Pinkman. So these guys are all in the, the prime position, right? Uh, presuming they come in the next lap. We might see a three or four lap spread like we saw at Long Beach. Yeah, absolutely. There might be one car here, and then there might be the whole field the next lap. Um, we'll have to see how uh, how risky these strategies are. And of course, if you run out of fuel and have to do the uh, the dance of death, you're probably going to end up in the wall anyways. Well, crucially, it's a very short pit lane here. These guys have come out in an awful lot of traffic as well. Um, so Pierre Lacroix was at the back of the field, um, and Lucius Augustus has come back out right in the middle of traffic, which isn't going to help his case at all. And where's 8 in this? Uh, 8 is uh, P33 and uh, under threat from John Major. Erdinson and, Senna and Fernando Alonso are in. They are then. So will anybody carry on? Doesn't look like it. Looks like this is uh, the rest of the field coming in then. Again with the bad angles for the pit lane. <laughs> oh, and again. <laughs> And Alonso collecting a cone on the way out there. So he... Alright, so Fernando Alonso is on his way out. Where is 8? I don't see 8 at all. Oh, there he is! And maybe he's only falling down to 3rd here. Doesn't look as bad, does it? No, yeah, that's that's much closer than we expected. Uh, so Ayrton Senna and then Fernando Alonso a long way out in front then. Rich Daddenborough has uh, got back out in just ahead of Lucius Augustus, so that traffic, not good for Lucius Augustus. Uh, Jeff Goldblum has uh, come back out in sixth then. Jesse Pinkman just ahead of Johnny Schumacher. 
Johnny Schumacher, of course, making the stop that lap earlier again. Um, and we got a spread of, uh, of pit times as well. So, uh, a few bad stops out there. Uh, 29 seconds for Jarno Russell. That's not good for him. Uh, 27 for James Ensby, not great. But uh, of the front group, as so we've got eight and eight in centre. Going wheel to wheel. Eight, uh, obviously, has got those tyres up to temperature because he's had an extra lap on them. And uh, makes his way back into second then. So no, it's not been, been disastrous at all. No, yeah, we'll see if he can close down Fernando Alonso. Yeah, he does have that tyre temperature, as you mentioned, so... Yeah, we'll see. They should be running similar fuel loads at this point, so... It's just a matter of if he can break away from Ayrton Senna here. Yeah, well, they almost need to work together, in one respect. Um, if they start fighting, like we saw, lap after lap on the first stint, then Fernando Alonso is just going to get away. But, uh, yeah, we'll see this time round... Um, what uh, Alonso and Senna's lap times are in comparison to 8. Uh, but 8 was nearly a second quicker than Lucius Augusta's last time round, so it's definitely on charge. So, a little bit further back then. Uh, Han Solo doing exactly what he needed to. Um, if he's not going to get a good result to keep him at the top of the championship, he'll, the uh, name of the game will be Damage Limitation. And he's up 10 then, up to P30. So it's about as good as you can hope for in a race that's not seen any crashes, right? Yeah, absolutely. And he's doing a fantastic job. Looks like he's catching the pack ahead as well. So we'll have to see where he can uh, end up here. And we're on board with mine, Polecat. Gentlemen racers have really taken a, a dive in the last couple of weeks here. Fighting Karen Horner, my other team. Team principals are also kind of in a, a free fall here. Oh, that's Susie Wolf as well. This is like my entire team. <laughs> it pretty much is. I think the only yeah. one that's uh, a bit further up than this would be Hulu, Hulu who is uh, currently up in P13 and having a fight with David Attenborough at Lando Calrissian. Actually, no, that's not sorted itself out. It's David Attenborough, Gail Berger, and Lando Calrissian. He's at the front of that group then, uh, who have broken away. And uh, sorry to break away from that because eight's pace has continued. He did a 129 last time round and actually overtook Fernando Alonso on the last lap. And Alonso's got his way back past then. Uh, and instead of having to defend from Lucius Augustus, but yeah, they really need to work together. They do, right? Or need these front two that have been fighting the entire race um, to start fighting a little bit more to allow them to catch up. Also trying to defend the inside but 8 goes through in the background that's uh, Lucius Augustus making his way back past centre then and the gap between the front two and the next two 1.8 so we can keep an eye on that. If all four of them uh, close back up it could be any one of these four that take the race win. So that's Lando. Lando's trying to hold on to a top 10 here. It's not looking fantastic. Got Pulu here, former championship leader. He's all the way down in 7th, so hopefully this 13th place will bring him up a little bit. But yeah, it's not, not looking great for his championship hopes at this point in the season. Well, this is what we've been saying all the way throughout, right? We don't know. Um, a 13th place could be enough to put him into the top 5 again. It just depends where everybody else is and how they score. So, you know, it's decent points at least. So he's not going to drop yeah, back absolutely. a huge amount. Actually, uh, he's in 11th. He made some moves, apparently. Oh, apparently he did, yeah. Yeah, Cecil's in 16th, so if the things remain the same, I believe Cecil's going to overtake on Solo again for the championship lead. But we'll have to do all the calculations in the background at the end of this race here. We're quickly coming to a close here as 8 is really pulling the gap here. I was going to say, I think this will be our new championship leader after this round. Because um, he, if he can stay here, it's our first double winner and back-to-back -back wins for 8. Um, Absolutely, yeah. I, I, I cannot explain it if this is how it ends. <laughs> um, carrying on the form from uh, Long Beach 
And uh, yeah, this would put Papa Sleen's automotive right up there, right? Where's Jake Dennis in this race? Oh, he's Dennis. all the way back in 39th. He's up three positions, though. <laughs> yes, but he is 39th. <laughs> Um, crucially, we might see someone finally get off the back of the grid as well. Uh, Jeff Goldblum might move out of last place for the first time all season. No, Samuel Jackson's actually. Oh, is it last Samuel place. Jackson in last place? Jeff Goldblum is forty-second. Ah, so okay. Give him some credit. Samuel Jackson. I mean, he's still twenty-fourth. Yeah, Gerhard Berger might uh might be overtaken here. Where's Gerhard Berger? Oh, Gerhard Berger's up in twelfth. Oh, he can okay. never get a break, no. can he, nope. Samuel Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, when we were doing uh, some livery testing here before we started this series, um, and yeah, Samuel Jackson actually, I believe, won this race or came in second. So, used up all his good luck in the uh, test races for the, <laughs> the series. Yeah, apparently so. Jeff Goldblum, so. though, trying to fight back after a string of uh, position relegations, is trying to make his way back past Richard Attenborough. Makes me think as whether he maybe did have a bit of damage in that first stint, because he seems a lot more competitive and he's definitely stopped going backwards, but he's got a look over his shoulder from Jesse Pinkman. Um, Jesse Pinkman only up the three positions today, but <laughs> he's running well in eighth anyway. Yeah, absolutely, and he's probably going to come up the championship order as well. Bring Team RB a few positions up, perhaps. Yeah, it's definitely like a good day for Jesse Pinkman, as always. Yeah, teammate back in uh, P22, down four today. Um, but still in the top half, or well, nearly in the top half of the field. So, yeah, you're right. There'll still be some decent points for them. It's happening at the top then. So, eight uh, has turned on the afterburners. Uh, another fastest lap of the race last time around with a 26 8, 8 2. Um, has created a little gap, and these front four are. Uh, Sort of equal, or top five now, sort of equal distance away. But these guys aren't too far off either, you know. If they stop squabbling. Yeah, they just need to kind of get in line. There's, yeah, Fernando Alonso's two seconds back. Uh, but yeah, as you said, it seems like eight has really turned on the afterburners here. It's just blitzing away from the field. We'll see if there's any response. Yeah, it's found speed for the second lap in a row then. Jeff Goldblum will try and go around the outside of Richard Attenborough. Can't find a way this time. And uh, Jesse Pinkman ever watchful in the background. Uh, we've got some moves going on further back in the field. Uh, that's uh, Hudson Hornet making his way past. Uh, yeah, staying ahead of Jules and Filner. Uh, passing now. Yeah, no, passing. Uh, Jake Dennis and Michael Verstappen going well to wheel. This is the thing, you know, with. Um, Point scoring all the way down to the back of the field. All these little moves are still going to net you points. So they're all going to fight to the flag. Uh, just keep an the eye on The Han stuck in a train here. Championship leader. So I purchased an Ardy. Now trying to relegate Jesse Pinkman and does so. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's still a lot of opportunity for Han Solo to make up some positions, but yeah, he's a bit stuck at the front of this train now, which is uh, Jack Villeneuve. As you say, holding up Samuel Jackson, Jackson Storm, James Ensby, Kasum Sato, Take Gravitz, Han Solo. As soon as you all find Harold Hill. So many previous and current championship contenders in a row. <laughs> and yeah, absolutely. As, as, uh, I think, as you said, Aid is going to go shoot into the top, but yeah, we might see some more shakeups in the top 10 here. Oh, it might. Luis Augustus has made his way past Fernando Alonso. Up in second place, then. Luis Augustus took the fastest lap back from eight last time round. So he's showing a good turn of pace, but that's extended. that little battle has extended the lead out front to 3.3 seconds, then. And barring absolute disaster, uh, that's going to have solo. Uh, there's all kinds of position changes going on back in the field, it. Ted Kravitz has been passed by Han Solo, who continues his charge up the field. Two former race winners. Jackson Storm and Samuel Jackson going wheel to wheel once again. He's trying to hold on. He desperately wants some points, Samuel. But I'm sure he wants to finish on the lead lap for a change as well. <laughs> That's just a win in itself, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. 
laps, and two laps to go then. For race that's gone very quickly, had a lot more action uh, than these processions normally have, but uh, it's been a very clean one once again. As Han Solo holds on, so he's up 11 places now. The recovery drive is real, as uh, Polkatz gets passed by John Major. And uh, this Augusta and Fernando Alonso battling once again then. This Augusta's... I think there's, Go on. there's no hope for eight here uh, to, to lose the lead, but yeah, we'll see. I realized that I started that sentence and it sounded like I was saying the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an absolute terrible time uh, winning the lottery. Uh... Yeah, I mean, if you have a lottery that you want to enter in the next week, maybe maybe eight is your number as Han Solo continues his charge. He takes Kasuma Sato now to move up to P28. I mean, it seems like little things, but this kind of race, this kind of charge, um, could put him in good stead later in the season. Yeah, absolutely, and Lando Carusian is in 10th, so it's looking like a good day for Falcon Racing uh, with the recovery drive from Han Solo here, so it's not over yet for sure. It's still, what, three more races after this, so it's still all to play for. It is. It's heartbreak again for Jeff Goldblum as he tries to get past Richard Attenborough and gets passed by Zanardi and Pinkman uh, in the same run. We're on the final lap then. Eight. I think that position's done. Second is still very much up for grabs though. Alonso is now taking that back from Lucius Augustus. Lucius Augustus has around seven corners to try and take it back. They go wheel to wheel once again. Augustus has the inside line. Edges it out. Alonso, little wiggle, little twitch. And I think that might... Uh, Scott for his challenge, he's going to try and go back around the outside, just showing his nose, trying to make a mistake from Lucius Augustus. But uh, I think it is Lucius Augustus that is finally going to finish on the podium here. It's just whether it's second or first. But uh, unbelievably then, we are going to have back-to-back -back winners in the Foxworth Autosport League. It is going to be eight for Papa Spleen's Automotive that comes home to be the first ever double winner in this championship. It's going to be close on the line between Luis Augustus and Fernando Alonso. Alonso outside of the toe. Alonso Ooh. gets it on the line. On the line. What a race. Aaron Senna in P4 in his home race. Johnny Schumacher. Yep, Rich Sandro, then Birch and Zanardi. Jesse Pinkman holds out ahead of Jeff Goldblum. It's still points for Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Although, uh, starting on the front row, that's not what he would have hoped. Lando Carizian. Followed by Paluminati, Gail Berger, Harambe, David Anbrook, Matt Neal, Cecil. Still some decent points, but I fear he's going to go a long way back in this championship after this one. Saf Safso, Hudson Hornet, James Fowles, Jules Villeneuve, Walter White, Paul Disaster, Peter Bonington, Jack Villeneuve, Samuel Jackson as well. Getting some points maybe off the back of the pack. We'll see. James Ensby, Jackson Storm, Han Solo, what a drive. He gained an extra position at the end then, so 12 places up to 28th. Um, it's still not the points he would have wanted, but uh, I think his team can be happy with that recovery. Kasuma Sato, Ted Kravitz, Susie Wolf, Heinz Harold Hill again, not a good race after being third in the championship only two rounds ago. Karen Horner, a previous uh, front runner as well, right back there in 33rd. John Major, 34th, mine Polcat. Not been his season, has it? 35, uh, 35th for him. Liam Bridesmaid. Uh, that's George Trudy. Liam Bridesmaid in 36th. George Trudy, Michael Verstappen, Flavio Briatore. Remember when we were talking about this guy being on the charge just a couple of races ago? Um, his championship charge fizzling out at the moment. Jake Dennis um, stopped on the right lap, so you can't blame the strategy guys this time. <laughs> Just a bad race for him down in P40. Martin Brundle, P41. Pierre Lacroix, at least he didn't crash back there in P42. <laughs> Jano Russell and Natalie Pinkham. The uh, pit lane reporting co-star of Ted Kravitz that had that great race a few ago. Uh, rounds off a pretty miserable day for them then. Well, that was, um, again, a, prop a proper race, wasn't it? <laughs> Rather than chaos. Um... But a lot, yeah, lot more wheel-to-wheel -wheel action than we've been used to. 
definitely. That was a fantastic race. Everyone finished and on the lead lap, so it was very competitive throughout. And we'll see how uh, important that recovery drive from Han Solo was. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, let's put those into the scoring computer <laughs> that Fox has, and uh, we'll try and get that all totted up and show you how the standings look going into the final roof going into the final three races. Well, once again, we have a new championship leader then, and unsurprisingly, it's our back-to-back -back race winner, the first ever double winner in Foxworth Autosport League history. It's eight at the top of the standings by a good margin from N. Senna, our previous rounds uh, winner and leader. Uh, no, he won. He's won one race, but didn't win the last round, but he was leading the championship coming into Interlagos, is in P3, Han Solo. His teammate, Lando Calrissian, P4, Falcon Racing doing a great job at the moment, and Cecil, uh, also a previous championship leader, is now back in fifth. Uh, Jesse Pinkman, um, a notable addition to the top ten, in sixth there as well. And then in the team's championship, it's Falcon Racing that hold on to that championship lead, but uh, there's three more teams joining them in the 500 points. We got Papa Spins Automotive up to second, unsurprisingly, with eight demanding lead in the drivers' championship. Memes to the Moon are in third, finally they are overtaken by their sister team. Uh, BBW are still there, they're still in the running, uh, the fourth team on 500 points in fourth, and Life Finds Away, our previous championship leaders, uh, are back down in fifth then. Um, that was that was actually racing Fox, that race. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was. Um, all sorts of action going on, and uh, yeah, I mean, can you put any predictions on this championship, considering the swing we've seen in the last two rounds? Uh, I'm predicting that Rage is going to buy a new game in January. <laughs> or or Wheel, perhaps. <laughs> got, a, got a lot of teams up there. Might yeah, actually finally good. have... No, he'll still save it. He'll still find a way. <laughs> Not spending it. Um... <laughs> Maybe that's the proviso he does with money. He has to spend it on himself. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's looking great for them at the moment. Second and third in the constructors. Obviously, Dan's team leading. Um, but, I mean, back-to-back -back wins for eight. I, I didn't think we'd see that in this championship. Um, and we've seen it. But he could go on a run of three more races with, you know, positions outside the top 30. We just don't know. Absolutely. I do want to point out that I did say that someone could win the last five races and Ada's on a charge. <laughs> I mean, he is. Um, we'll see how he goes next time out. Um, round number seven then will come from Donington. Uh, we've got three races left in this championship before it's decided. We've got uh, Donington. Uh, then we go back to an oval for the Langley 200. That's one not to miss. Uh, Langley, a fairly small oval. Um, and we're going to see pure chaos there I think um, and then we will finish the season up with uh, Road America which is as of yet untested so we could see anything for the uh, the final race of the championship but don't miss the final three uh, do join us next time in Donington um, thank you as always for joining me Fox uh, hope absolutely you... no worries so yeah thank you everybody for watching um, if you are watching the series and you're not involved um, don't forget to check out the, uh, the Fox of Water Support Discord in the description uh, because not long from now, uh, we will. I'm fairly sure we will do a season two now. Um, the uh, reception to this has been really good. Everybody's been enjoying it. Um, I'm sure Fox can back me up and in saying that it's an absolute blast to just see how it turns out and commentate anyway. Recording has some issues, but yeah. <laughs> but the races have been great. Well, hopefully the last three will be better. I will be re-imaging my computer and yeah, it will be hopefully sorting out those issues but yeah if you want to get involved uh, for season two don't be uh, don't forget to join the discord um that's where the announcement will go out first uh, followed by announcement on the youtube channel um to get your teams involved for season number two whatever that will be uh, we might have an interim season you know sort of a, a try out of some different cars maybe a, a shorter season before going to season two of Formula 3 uh, or we might put it up to a vote as to which cars will represent the next one but uh, yeah if you want to see all the information and be the first to know to get your team involved in whatever comes next then don't forget to join that discord in the description but thank you everybody for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you again next time